السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو ہوپ فلی یو آر فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ یور جاب بیسٹ ان دا ٹوڈے لیکچر آئی ول ڈسکس یو ون آف دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ اینڈ آلسو شو اوور ڈیزائن اینڈ دس ڈیزائن از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا پاور ڈیوائڈرس ایز یو نو دیٹ ان دا آر ایف ڈیزائن دا پاور ڈیوائڈر از دا مین تھنگ بیکاز ان وائل ڈیزائننگ اینڈ ایرے وی ہیو اے ریکوائرمنٹ آف پاور ڈیوائڈرس بیکاز Uh, we have to insert the power from the single feed line now there are two types of uh, power dividers uh, we can say that as a t type power dividers and the wilkinson power dividers in the today lectures i can show you uh, how to design a wilkinson power divider with a single stage now moving toward the cst studio in the cst studio as you saw this is our designed wilkinson power divider with single stage now how it is designed i actually show you the parameters and what we can do here now in the components we have two things one is the uh, substrate in the substrate we have this is substrate and i showed you that what are the variables that we selected here now first of all in the defined bricks we have this variable x minimum xp1 xp2 plus x y minimum yp1 yp2 and z minimum this is the height of the substrate that is minus h selected and zero and the material selected is rogers r04003 lossy materials now it look like as the substrate is actually the half and we usually design uh, substrate on the many different methods in this methods i design the substrate half and take the mirror image or the copy image of this substrate now it is up to you that which techniques you have to adopt it now i say okay or cancel it now now the im i can take the mirror this mirror is look like as the in the mirror image we have a full as a repetition factor of 1 because in the previous we check that the substrate is like that and if we make a copy of our uh, mirror image of this substrate we can obtain a full substrate now when the substrate is designed here uh, Uh, we start our design of a uh, wilkinson power divider if you saw the wilkinson power divider this is the input feed line and this is the output feed line it means it is one to two uh, port wilkinson power divider now how it is designed i actually want to show that in the this point this is the accumulate point first of all in the first part we have this bricks this brick shows that these are the values of the parameter like uh, x minimum is standing here actually it's mean that x maximum is here that is l0 this is the length and y minimum is upside and downside this is minus w0 divided by 2 up to w0 divided by 2 and the copper cladding thickness is t okay i will show at the end that how i can select these uh, values of these materials now okay this is the single form now the second part of the design which is same as second part is here first part is this we have to design this and the second part we have to design this part this bar part starting point is this it's mean that we have a u minimum is at zero position but the u maximum is at l1 we have v minimum at zero point and v maximum at w1 and minus t is the uh, actually the uh, copper cladding thickness now w max is zero and we press okay for design now here i am not designing i am showing you how it is designed it is cancels now in the solid 2 this is the one sided and in the solid 2-1 there is the uh, transform mirror image it's mean that 
I am I have designed this part first then this part and take the mirror image of this side this side how it is taken it shows you as like that okay and the transform factor is here repetition factor is 1 mirror plan normal is minus 1 0 0 and this is the actually shows the positions of the mirror now in the second part I minimize it and take this uh, component that is solid 5 this solid 5 actually shows this box this box is designed according to this parameter that is w minimum is minus w1 it means that we are standing here and w minus w1 is going here and u maximum is at zero position zero minimum v minimum is at zero and v maximum at w1 position this is the width and minus t is actually the uh, copper cladding thickness now we have first design this square then use the chamfer edge command and make a cut here okay how cut here this is the chamfer edge chamfer edge is chamfer width of w1 and angle of 45 we select it and you know that here the red line actually demonstrate us the cut of the chamfer now as i design this square and make the chamfer edge here i transform a mirror or a copy image at here which means that we design only single line and the second line we use as a transform factor or the mirror image now this component one solid 5 dash 1 is the actually mirror image of this while i add i first design this then i take the mirror image of this then i add both of this now in the component number one and solid six we have this factor that i designed this is the whole rectangular box we are standing here at that point the u minimum is at zero position but the u maximum at w0 and v minimum is at minus l0 and w and v maximum is at zero position because we are moving here and standing here okay now while designing this we have to again make the chamfer edge command and make this cut while making this cut after making this cut we have to make a, a mirror image and we uh, make a replica of this in this side how it is possible you can easily watch here this is the transform image with repetition factor of one this is the mirror plan normal position point okay after designing this from one side you have to take the other side as a mirror image now the main thing is remaining is this point this position which is demonstrated here like that this is actually shows that we are standing at that point at that point u maximum is at zero but the u minimum is at minus rw this is rw while v minimum is at zero position but the v maximum is at rl and take the uh, and take as the copper annealed as a minus t which is the thickness of copper annealed now also make the mirror image of this now i will tell you what is this in the this plus sign this plus sign is actually the lumped element what is the lumped element lumped element may be the capacitor resistor and it is easily shown here in the lumped element we have a folder one this element shows that when i select you saw this is the blue line and the lumped element is defined as r it is actually a resistor with having the value of 100 ohm why we use this we actually use this 
resistor here because when we feed the input feed line here and connect the output at that point then due to the uh, power dissipations this actually resistor absorb the power this dissipated your unused powers now we have a three port network now one is this input port and two output ports all the three ports should be configured at a 50 ohm it's mean that its input impedance should be 50 ohm it should be in 50 ohm it should be 50 ohm input impedance we have which we name as a z node or the characteristics impedance now we have to connect the port we have a three port connected here port one port two port three like uh, you can saw here from the port position this is the port one position okay now this is the port two position this is the port three position now the main thing is to how to simulate now after connecting the ports first of all you have to observe that this is for example the input position and we have no single stage in the next video i will show you how to increase the number of the stages and why we increase the number of the stages as you know that in the power dividers the t type power dividers have a, um, a narrow band behavior but uh, this wilkinson power divider have the broadband behaviors are the ultra wideband behaviors now how can i check that after simulation the results are obtained and uh, the results are given below in the s parameters we have to select this s11 s21 and s31 from the result it is clearly shown that this red line is basically the s parameter for s11 and it shows that the output result is uh, much better that is designed only for 7.5 up to 12.5 gigahertz however the ultra wideband is actually 3.1 to 11.6 but it is near closer to the ultra wideband and have the good behavior because in the return loss we have a minus 10 db but it is more than 10 db minus 10 db friends in this lecture i actually shows that how the wilkinson power divider looks and how the single stage wilkinson power divider looks and how it is designed and why we increase the number of the stages actually the number of the stages are increased if we want more bandwidth or if we want uh, ultra wide band characteristics in the uh, wilkinson power divider Therefore, we have to increase the number of the stages. In the next video, inshallah, I will show you uh, up to how much level the, the stages of the Wilkinson power dividers should be increased. Up till now, bye. And I request all of you kindly subscribe to my channel so that I can make these types of videos more and more and teach you. Uh, if you have any query related to uh, this video or any video, then uh, message me in the comment sections or email me and the email can be shown in front of you in the video okay thank bye